May your insomnia be caused by magnesium deficiency? The answer, coming up. Hi, it's the pharmacist Sunki here. This video is part of a series talking about the treatment of sleeping difficulty, aka insomnia. Today, we are going to talk about magnesium and sleep. Magnesium, which is found in many of our food, like green leafy vegetables, whole grains, and nuts, seems to have a role in our body's natural sleep-wake cycle, also known as the circadian rhythm. Low magnesium levels seem to be associated with higher cortisol levels. Cortisol is a hormone that peaks during the day to help us cope with stress. Low magnesium levels is also associated with lower melatonin levels. Melatonin is a sleep hormone that helps us sleep. When our body has high cortisol levels and low melatonin levels during bedtime, this can make it hard for us to fall asleep. Hey, if you are new here, consider subscribing and turn on the notification button. This channel is dedicated to improve your health and well-being. Back to magnesium and sleep. When we don't consume enough magnesium, or as we age, our body's ability to absorb and retain magnesium from food decreases, this leads to magnesium deficiency. Some of the symptoms of magnesium deficiency includes muscle cramps, sleepiness in the day, snoring, depression, and all of these may lead to difficulty sleeping at night. So, with all that we've said, magnesium supplement may help you sleep better at night if your insomnia is caused by magnesium deficiency. So how do you know if you are magnesium deficient? Magnesium deficiency is usually undiagnosed until it reaches very low levels where it starts to show symptoms such as loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and weakness. When magnesium levels reaches an even lower level, symptoms such as numbness, tingling, muscle contractions and cramps, seizures, personality changes, abnormal heart rhythms would show. Magnesium deficiency are usually uncommon in healthy young people who eat a healthy, balanced diet. Groups of people who are more likely to have magnesium deficiency are people who number one, eat low magnesium food. In today's modern society, many people are not eating a healthy and balanced diet, but rather choose high carbs, high fat processed food, which are often lacked in magnesium. And because subclinical magnesium deficiency don't show any symptoms, vast majority of these people are underdiagnosed. So if you suspect you belong to this group of people, pay attention to your diet. Aim to eat a healthy, balanced diet. Food that contains high magnesium are whole grains, oats, nuts, legumes, tofu, spinach, soy milk, and whatnot. Number two, people with type 2 diabetes. High sugar levels in the blood can make the kidneys excrete more magnesium. Number three, people who have gastrointestinal problems like celiac disease, Crohn's disease, or chronic diarrhea, where it is hard for the body to absorb and retain magnesium. Number four, people who are alcohol dependent. Number five, people who are older. Number six, people who are on certain medication like frusamide, which is a loop diuretic. If you fall into the above category and have difficulty sleeping, it may be because you are magnesium deficient. Make an appointment to see your doctor for further assessment. If magnesium from food is not enough to solve the problem, the doctor may prescribe you magnesium tablets and hopefully this will solve your sleeping problems. This is a series of video on insomnia, sleeping, difficulty treatment. I will put links of the other videos down in the description box below for you. Now, besides a pharmacist and running this channel, I am also a singer-songwriter and an actress. I run a second channel where I put out my original music and entertainment videos. There are some relaxation and sleeping music in that channel to help you sleep. 
You can run them in a loop so it plays over and over again. Looping is a setting where you can find it on the bottom of your YouTube window. Or you could also create a YouTube sleep music playlist and include these songs in it. I will put the links of the songs down below for you. Now let me know as well what other methods have you used to help you sleep or share any of your experiences or thoughts on difficulty sleeping. Please let me know as well if you have any other videos you would like me to make. It's your pharmacist Sunki here. See you around.